In this lesson, I will show you how to evaluate function. The function is like a machine. So given the, a rule, when you put in an input, you are going to get an output. So let's assume that we have a function with a rule of 2x plus 1. Okay? So when I put in my x to be, so let's say my x equals to 2, okay? then that means when i come into the machine so i need to calculate f s equals to 2 so that will be 2 multiplied by 2 plus 1. so in this case the output will be 5 because 2 multiplied by 2 plus 1 gives you 5. as the first example so we are given this rule okay and we are asked to find the value of f of negative 8 so f of negative 8 so whatever you find x in the function rule we replace it with the value of x that we are given the output is going to be 6 1 so we have minus negative 8 so uh, my, uh, minus multiplied by negative is going to become a positive so we are going to have 1 plus 8 so we have 6 multiplied by 9 so the answer in this case will be 54. Example 2. A baker determined the annual profit in dollars for selling pies using PN equals to 52N. So using this particular function. Okay. So we are, give, we are given that N is the number of pies sold. So what is now the annual profit? Again, the function represents profit. If the baker sells 400 pies. So we have PN equals to 52 and minus 0 0.05 and square so in this case we want to replace the n with 400 because that's what we are given so whatever we see n we replace it with 400 so 52 multiplied by 400 400 square so i'm using parentheses as you can see so that i won't make any mistake so this will become so 52 multiplied by 400 will be 20,800 and multiplied by 0 0.05 so 400 raised to the power of 2 is 400 multiplied by another 400 okay so that will give us 160 thousand okay so now we need to simplify further so we have twenty thousand eight hundred minus eight thousand so the annual profit after this baker sells 400 pies is going to be twelve thousand eight hundred dollars so the answer is g so example three the graph of an equation in the form of y equals to mx plus b instead of using the function notation f of x is equals to mx plus b they just use the y okay so they are the same thing basically so based on the graph what is the value of x when y so we are supposed to find the input so what will be the input when the output is negative seven so in this case even though we are not like given the function per se we are given the graph of the function and that's all that matters we are told to find the value of x when y equals to negative seven so it comes to y so this is the y axis okay so we want to be on this axis and go to negative seven so this is y equals to negative seven so let's draw the line of y equals to negative seven let's draw that line so that's the line of y equals to negative seven so where the line meet the black line that will be the value of x of course, if you are doing this on the on a paper, it will be easier for you to draw the line using a ruler. Okay, so x value will be equals to negative five, and that's the answer. So the input, when the input is negative five, the output is definitely uh, negative seven, and that's it. I need you to use this question to practice this concept.